Welcome, welcome. I am Gpaw, and this is episode six of my free-to-play progression guide, progression series. Um, it's just like a playthrough, kind of keeping you up to date with what I'm doing and why and how I'm progressing, so you can kind of compare, you know, as well as I do throwing little tips and advice as I can. Um, I'm just hopping on here first time, first time of the day, and I've already completed some stuff apparently. Oh, that's right. I spent energy early this morning when I woke up. We'll start over here in Arena because I know that's pretty much the only game mode right now. I got paid out. I believe S Silver 1 was where I got paid out. I already deleted it. Okay. I believe I'm in Silver 1. I'll have to look here. Yeah, Silver 1, 985. And I've continued to progress. Next, next target is Gold. Um, team I'm using is Isengard 3, Strider, Gauze Ironhide. I have been building my humans, uh, Rohan 3 and Strider, so I can beat the challenges. But currently my team's at 7702, and we punch up, you know, 800 to 1,000. And it might be just the way I'm targeting opponents. I blind, uh, gauze on the opponent's team so his first AOE misses and then I ability block him on my second turn with uh, Uglux ultimate and then he does his basic and by then most other characters I've killed off so I can start to focus on him a lot more I'm still saving my credits. I have started uh, to buy Halberad. Um, I believe this is the way to go because you need humans to beat the Light Crystal Challenge. Forged in the Deep, I think it's called. We'll go look here. But you're going to need humans strong, and he's one of the best humans in the game. So he's a tank healer, you know. Awesome, awesome human. All-around character. So I might as well get him. Bulg, I don't need an orc for the shadow crystal challenge or anything and I'm also pushing Aramir up to two right now because he is uh, a human as well and I want him to have some power I've only been buying the light and shadow crystals and then if I need one of these pieces when I'm equipping gear I'll go ahead and buy one of those otherwise I've got these bought up pretty decent sometimes I'll buy them if I'm at zero the rest of the gear I'm just waiting on because I want to make sure I have gold to equip the stuff I do got go over my roster here a little bit so my light team is uh, Rohan 3 and I've been equipping gear here, building these two up. I think personally Aethane is more priority than Aemir. Um, I can use her as a plug and play anywhere, but her cleanse, her ability block, her defenses and counters, and she's just wonderful. She's the best character on the team in my opinion. You can put her on any team and she'll do what she does. As well as Aethane's kit is similar. He helps any team that he's on. Whereas Aramir really relies on, in my opinion, the other characters to, you know what I mean? He just doesn't seem that great as a plug, plug and play, personally. I want to make sure on his abilities here. Brotherly Devotion. See, Hill Self and Eowyn. You can get assistance. Eothane. So he really, his kit's built around Rohan. Um. Rohan ally to assist and that's why he's my least prioritized out of the Rohan 3 um, obviously Strider's my fourth light side character and Pippin I've been using I had to put a little bit more into Pippin I'm using him as my fifth for light side um, I ain't investing in Eowyn anymore I did that just to try to beat the uh, tier 5 challenge for her event and once I figured out the targeting on it, which characters to target first, it was really, really easy. So, um, shadow wise, gear tier fives on all my Isengard three, as well as gods. I've got him to gear tier five as well. Now, as the gear priority for my shadow team, um, I'm gonna take gods to six, I'll go up to six. And then I'd go to Dunhart and then Malher. And just the reason for that is I'm getting damage here and here. Malher's awesome on damage, but uh, he can heal himself and such. So 
I'm not too worried about it. I'm more worried about keeping him alive so he can heal the team Dunhar. Uh, my fifth on my shadow team currently is Wubate, but I'm not investing anymore. Uh, I'm farming Morza, and I'll probably bring him as my fifth and see how it goes. Just because he's part of the Isengard team. As well as the five Isengard, I think eventually will be part of a, a legendary unlock of some sort or just something. There's a potential. Plus, I'd just rather have the whole team at five stars, so I will be building up Morza. Until I can get Azak, and then we'll decide between who to drop off at that point. I've been farming my elves and uh, when I can, if I have extra energy and such. Let me see here. I think I got to the Lelil node. No, I'm still not there. Hard 3-9, and that'll be a long time before I get to it. These, I've been getting shards from the calendar. We did get Great Goblin, and I just hit Summon on him, but I'm not going to invest personally. I'm not building the gom Goblins currently. Uh... There's just not enough resources as well as I think Isengard's better in my personal opinion. I do have a video I'm going to make later today. Um, definitely subscribe so you get notified when I put it out. It's a debate between Isengard, uh, free to play WoW, and the Mordor team. And how hard it is to get to Mordor and sh can free to play actually use them as a viable shadow team early on. Um, eventually you'll have every team, but early on I don't know that they're... I'll just save that for that video. I don't want to say nothing right now. Huh. But I'm going to do a deep dive video on it. Uh, inbox, I want to see here. No, it's not in the inbox. It's not in the store. I was trying to figure out how I can check my calendars to kind of show those off a little bit. So we're approaching a million guild power. Average collection is 25,000. I'm nowhere near that, I'm sure. Oh, come on, Elwyn. They've been with us since the beginning. Kivzy. It is Monday morning. We'll see how things go today. Total guild power. I want to see how high I'm climbing. So, as you can see, you, you build up 15,000. I'm on day 6, I believe. I just got the goblin the other day, so this might be day eight, rather. Uh, if there's a seven day log encounter for the great goblin, I believe. But I'm almost to 15,000 power, and it will stop, and you'll kind of stall out just gaining like 100 power a day. Um, the reason for that is because you're focusing on specific characters. Uh, if you were to go and invest in these other characters you got, you would jump up a couple thousand power. Um, just taking them to gear tier 4 and stuff. But you run out of resources. And your overall all power doesn't affect nothing. So what I did here in guild campaign. Over the last couple days is. Once I got gauze unlocked. I actually went back. And I got my ug luck up to 2 stars. I haven't pushed them to 3 yet. Because Dunhar and uh, Malher are at 1 star. So I'm farming them daily. And once they hit two stars, I'll start pushing him up towards three as they're going up towards three. But for ability materials, I went to chapter two and cleared through it. I've debated stopping here on Narmeri, but I'm not able to get Elrond the first time anyway. So I'm just going to push forward. And I went to chapter three. And I figure this way I can get the most gold and the most chance at ability materials, as well as this currency to spend in the store. So I unlocked this, and I'm going to sit here and farm this till I get him to 4 or 5, and then I'll go back for Narmeri. Unless they add other characters to the guild campaign, then I might change what I'm doing. But I'm at 16 out of 100. Might as well hit this one here. And I've actually started just clicking, um, simply because I'm making YouTube videos, and I'm doing a lot of testing on other accounts and such. And it just It's very time-consuming, especially having a family. I was able to go through a hard 2-9, and that was a quest, is why I pushed to it, and I got my Morzod done. I need to go back and 3-star these eventually, and I could probably push further into the Shadow normal campaign, but I haven't, and I unlocked this just simply for the quest as well. Now hard campaign, it was a, I had to go through that, but now it's 3-9 hard that I have to do for my next quest. And I haven't tried it yet, but I could probably clear a few nodes. 
and get, I don't know if I can get there yet, but this is a topic for the Mordor versus Isengard free to play. They're on three five hard, light and shadow. There's a Mordor orc or whatever they're called, goblin orc. They're just really really deeper in, and you have to invest in other teams. So to switch over to them, I think that's going to be one of the big topics is the gear crunch for it. We did pass level 30, thank God, so now we'll be able to do the raids if they, if and when they come, or when they come, rather. Challenge, I better talk on that real quick, and then we'll wrap her up here. I've been making steady progress, and this is my focus is challenges. My Isengard orcs and gauze are going to push through this. Um, I don't have a strong enough team yet. Oh, I guess gauze ain't in this, but the elves would be very helpful. Arwen's in there. Once I get Azak, and I'd probably level Morza, will be that. But these three alone, I'm just going to keep building and pushing forward. Their self-healing uh, is actually really helpful. And I want to max these as much as I can. Again, I'm not strong enough to beat these. Forged in the Deep is the one that I'm really wanting to get into as well. And I need humans. So I stalled out right here. Um, that's why I started farming Halberad as well as I'm leveling up my... Rohan 3 to push further into this because if I don't I would need goblins and I don't want to I don't have the stuff to invest in goblins I'm not doing that so I gotta start building my humans which is really making me focus on Rohan 3 over the elves gear wise treasure trove again I don't have enough power to push up yet I'm stuck on the 9300 because it's just my my power levels are still too low but we'll get through it and that's really all I got. Definitely comment down below if there's any other questions or um, thoughts on my progression, how I'm going. Let me know how your progression is going. Uh, I did make a video the other day, con uh, State of the Game. It was kind of salty, but I do like this game, and I, I look forward to waking up, logging in, and uh, making content on it as well as playing it. Even if it's just for 30 minutes, I really, really enjoy it. And I hope that some content will come into the game so that way I can enjoy it even more, you know? I love Lord of the Rings, and it's it's got me hooked hard. Like, this is my favorite game right now. Um, yeah. Much love, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.